Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Building a Zoo in Minecraft. It's me, ya boy Beef. I've been hard at work, as usual, on the exhibits. Okay, so, a lot of you mentioned, uh, put another layer in here just to be safe if I really want to keep it open, and that is what I did. I am not happy with the way this tree is looking. <laughs> That's kind of silly. Also, I mentioned they eat eucalyptus. I'm so sorry. Or sorry, I mentioned they eat bamboo in the last episode, the koalas do. They do not. They eat eucalyptus. Eucalyptus leaves, to be more precise. I still like the uh, the exhibit a lot though, so I'm going to keep it the way it is. Um, okay, okay. What else did I do? Well, we'll save that for later. I built a cotton candy stand right here. I figure we need to have more treats. There's a hot dog stand right there. Built a cotton candy stand, and I'm hoping, hopefully today in this episode, not the only thing we're going to do, but one of the things we'll do is I'm going to build a little gazebo back here and have uh, kind of like a flowery area, just to make it look like a like kind of a rest area for people if they want to just sit down and relax before moving on to exhibits. Oh, oh, you noticed something back there, did you? Well, that's the other thing I've been working on. Let's go take a look. It's time for the Indian Garyol. It's time for that exhibit. And I built it already. Look at that. It's beautiful. So the plan here was I looked up Gariel, Gariel, Gariel exhibits online. And very, very sandy exhibits with palm trees, but a mixture of trees. So I put a couple palm trees. I got a, uh, uh, an oak tree here. There's a, there's another palm tree back. Where is the other palm tree? Did it die? Why is the... Hold on a second. Hold on. I, I planted three palm trees. And I think one of them turned into an oak tree. Somehow. Okay, Ethan. Okay, we hear you. We know. We know all about you. Yeah, right here. This is supposed to be a palm tree. Oh, I think the other palm tree just died. Because I did plant two oak trees. Wait, what happened? Or did I chop it down? Maybe I chopped it down. I have no idea what I did. Anyway, we're going to release the Gariels into their exhibit. First, I'm going to sleep. Before we release them, though, we have to kibble them. That's right, kibble them. And I believe, uh, I think it's just crocodile kibble. I mean, it makes sense, right? Ooh, crocodile leather. Uh, okay, so salmon, chicken, raw bird meat, and raw fish. So we're going to need two, two salmon, two chicken, perfect, two raw bird meat, and two fish, and then two kibble in the middle, which we have. Beautiful. This is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Boom. Okay, so we got the crocodile meat. Or the crocodile kibble, I should say. Friends? Friends. Oh, I need another. Oh, yes. Come here, buddy. Ouch. Okay, we're friends again. Or friends for the first time. Let's get you in there. I like that they're two different colors. Let me show you the idea I had in the uh, reptile and amphibian exhibit here. You'll notice that on the inside, as soon as I get there, Soon as I get there, I still haven't finished the outside of this place either. That's why you see all that black concrete. But the inside of here, you can't see anything underwater. So what I want to have happen is I want you to be able to see above the water here. And when, then when you go downstairs, you can turn around and I'm going to dig this deeper. And then you can actually see them if they're underwater at the time. Um, so I think that's kind of a cool idea. I hope you guys like it. Let's get you guys in there. We need to... Oh, speaking of naming... Speaking of naming, we now have two named squids. Two of them spawned in here, the perfect amount. It's, oh, what was it? Oh, there's three in here now. Two of them are named. Two of them are named. I just jumped into that exhibit. Don't do that at home, kids. There it is. Piper. Piper and Piper and Belinda, the two best friend squids. And then there's the other squid that I don't really, I'm not going to name. I'm not going to bother naming. Uh, also, somebody mentioned that the um, the snow would melt. The snow is not melting. I feel good about that. All right, let's go into the exhibit. Oh, yeah, on the other side. We got to go all the way on this side, guys. It's time. Please do not glitch into something and die. Thank you. Thank you. Let's put the fence up. There's no way they can jump this fence. This is a secure exhibit. There's going to be two view exterior viewing areas from this side and from that side. You're not going to be able to view from the back. We need to actually plant some trees back here to cover up the ugly stone brick. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Who wants to be named after one of these guys? Here, let's go look at it from the inside. Oh, I should chop this down. I was using this. The palm trees, I was hoping that if you sheared them, you'd get like palm Prongs? 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 I don't know what it's called. I was hoping you'd get these style leaves, but you don't. You get, um, maybe I should show you. I don't have any blocks, though. 
you get you get like blocks of uh, of leaves, and I actually use them to decorate the exhibit. That's what they look like right there. They're actually cool looking. They look a little thicker and less dull than jungle leaves, so I kind of like them. Okay, am I gonna get a palm? Oh yes, that is nice. Any palm wood? I could use some palm wood too. Oh yes, thank you very much. Let's go look at these guys from inside the exhibit. Do I have a sign on me? I don't. We gotta name them. Oh, I could make a sign though. I think. I think all we do is. I think you can use the palm wood for it, right? Boom. And now we're gonna place the sign on the corner of the exhibit here. How do they look? Oh, this looks cool. I like this. I like the fact that it's an exterior exhibit. I have to also finish the outside of the building on this side. But uh, I think it looks good. Look at that guy back there. Yeah. And then when I make this deeper, you're going to be able to see them from the inside downstairs. And that's going to be, like, even cooler. So let's put this over here. Here we have the Indi in Indian. Man, it's tough typing with a microphone in your face. Gariel. Right? Yeah, that looks awesome. The first exhibit we're building today, or the only exhibit we're building today, but the first of the things we're building, <laughs> English, um, is a hyena exhibit. Oh, man, I've been excited about this hyena exhibit because ever since I found those dead oak trees, I'm like, whoa, the dead oak trees would make an amazing exhibit. Um, so, and I think, I feel like the hyenas are the perfect, the perfect candidate for them. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to dig out a little pit. This is going to be the viewing area here. We're not going to be able to go all the way around for this one either. I'm going to have some trees here so that people don't uh, get confused. People, I guess, um, hypothetical people if they came to visit the exhibit they won't get confused they can't go that way they can only view it from here there will be like a little probably a wooden fence we'll probably use a different kind of wood and do like a wooden fence up here and then you're going to be looking down on the hyena so this is going to be a wall right here i'm probably going to use all wood for this exhibit although i did do that with the hippos and they're right there so i'll have to think about that but in the meantime yeah i got a little bit of digging to do we're going to replace a lot of the dirt with um silty or coarse dirt i should say not silty this is silty stuff coarse dirt so that grass doesn't grow on it um but also some we'll have some patches of green here and there because they are savanna animals so there is grasslands mixed in with savanna um, it's not, well, not grasslands, I shouldn't say that, but there's vegetation in Savannah Biome, so I don't want it to be completely devoid of vegetation. Um, and, and I don't think I'm going to plant any acacia trees because there's already acacia trees right there. Maybe we'll do one, but I want mostly to be like dying oaks. I think that'll be like the coolest. Hi, buddy, I hear you. These guys are really cool looking, really cool animal models here. I changed my mind, kind of. I think I'm going to try some red sand with the occasional orange terracotta mixed in. I don't have a lot of terracotta, though. Might have to change that plan. But definitely some red sand. We'll get some silty dirt in there, some coarse dirt in there, and then we'll occasionally have some plant. Not these guys. These guys are just uh, stuff that I picked up while while digging out. Um, and I want to make the barrier around out of acacia wood and acacia fence. So that means I'm going to need some of these guys, acacia trees. Um, and I only have those two left. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be interesting because I need some more of these leaves. Come on, big acacia! Big money, big acacia! <laughs> All the same stuff. What was the show they used to yell big money? Oh, it's, it's Wheel of Fortune, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, you look decent for now. Let's get you going. I just need more acacia saplings is what I need. Come on, don't do that. Stop growing in my face. So hyenas have dens, okay? And it looks like they're, I, I've, I've done some research. I've been I'm look, looking online and it looks like they're just mainly like dug into the ground. Some of them are, are, in, are like made of stone and stuff. So I'm gonna make them kind of like a little stone den here. Just something like that. That kind of sticks out of the ground. Um, definitely have to like dig down a little bit. Wow, this, this shovel is amazing when it comes to stuff that isn't grass. So we'll dig down like this. Uh, definitely dig down like that. We'll put, maybe we'll put some coarse silty dirt here because, oh, no, 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 no. I think, I think here is the perfect spot for it. Make me make it a little bit wider here. Uh, yeah. So let's replace all this down here with coarse silty dirt. We don't want any grass growing inside here. And we want it to look silty and coarse. <laughs> so we'll re replace that. That is fine there. That looks pretty good. I feel like we need a little bit more definition here yeah and then we'll, we'll replace some of this stuff here with the silty stuff maybe we'll start to work in the red sand 
right here already. Uh, yeah, something like that. I gotta be careful with the red sand. I don't have a whole lot. That's it. Three stacks, pretty much. So, gotta be a little bit careful of it, but no big deal. Okay, so from here, probably start placing some sand. It looks good with this. It does not look good with the green. So, we wanna get rid of all this green stuff, actually. Here's what I got so far. I got a little bit of a boulder over here. I've got their den, of course. I wonder if I should actually replace the back with with uh, stone. Oh, I didn't even put a cap on. I'll put. I'll replace this part with stone. It looks a little bit more realistic when we're looking in at it, so it doesn't have like a a, 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 a dirt wall. It'll be a stone wall, but the the ground will still be dirt. I think. I think that makes the most sense because uh, yeah, they dig in right and they bring in they bring in debris. <laughs> <laughs> debris with them so the ground gets kind of messy so here let's look at that from here that's pretty cool okay we've got a little bit of a stone boulder here we got a little bit of a dip in the uh in 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 the terrain we got another dip of terrain here let's put some stone down here hopefully that's coarse dirt is that is any of that or Coarse silt? No, none of it. I'm out, I'm out of coarse silty dirt. I can make more. I just I'm too lazy to go over there and make it. So this is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Pretty barren. Um, not too many terrain elevation changes, which I think I want to change. I think I want to raise this entire side up one, which is kind of a bummer because I've already placed down a lot of this stuff. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab our shovel, which is almost broken. We're going to dig up all of this, just like a, a roundish portion. Then we're going to place down regular silty dirt here. And then we're going to put the other blocks that we just broke or mined or shoveled on top. Have you guys seen the zoo in rain? No? Well, you're seeing it now. It's actually pretty dreary. It's kind of sad. All the animals getting wet and stuff. That's why I try to provide cover for them. At least at least some, most animals have some trees and stuff. Right? Trees are good. Um, Yeah, this kind of sucks. I, I wanted to plant these. I only have two dying oak acorns. I thought I had more. No? Didn't I? Didn't I when I chopped down a bunch of trees? Didn't I have a lot more than two dying oak acorns? Um, Apparently not. So we're going to wait. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. We're going to wait until this snow, snow, until this rain stops. And then once the rain stops, we're going to try to plant. Oh, I see some grass spreading over here. Got to fix this. Yeah, so when the rain stops, we're going to try to plant some of this dying oak stuff. And um, and then hopefully things will start looking better. The acacia, I'm, I, I put down all my acacia logs and those acacia trees. I ran out of bone meal. Of course, I do have that skeleton spawner that I can farm for bone meal which is not a big deal but it's gonna take me a long time so i'm thinking we take a trip out to the savannah today and just chop down some trees there's savannah everywhere so we should we should be able to get to one pretty quickly all right so how can i plant these hopefully they just go on regular dirt they do good 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 no grass for me okay so we'll put one there we'll put maybe one over here and then should i oh i have palm seeds on me i don't have any acacia I should probably plant one or two acacia. I don't know. I kind of like the way they look. They're really cool looking trees. Let's let these guys grow. Um, you know what? Let's go on a little trip. Here we are in a savanna, not far away from the zoo. And I've uh, found some more flowers too that I kind of like. These bell flowers are kind of cool. Not for the hyena exhibit, for a future exhibit. And then temple bells. I'm pretty sure I had found, oh no. Don't go in there, guy. You will die. Ooh, apparently wildflower I'd never caught before because it just popped up as a as a new thing that I'm doing. And then clovers, sure. This is like, oh man. You know, sometimes I don't live stream, but sometimes I feel like how fun would it be to just sit down, chillax, and live stream a couple hours of me just going and collecting flowers. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't sound that good once. Once it actually came out of my mouth, it actually sounds pretty lame. Um, but this is cool. This is cool. I want. I need all this stuff. I'm actually running low on uh, decorative items. Ooh, there's a village up there on a hill. I'm probably. I probably already explored that, so no big deal. Anyway, the main reason we're here is to chop down a bunch of savanna trees. 
Um, I hope, you know what, I'll probably replant. Oh, hi, I gotta catch a bunch of you guys, too. Speaking of you guys, um, you guys have made, the exhibits for the contest are looking incredible. And a lot of you guys did meerkat exhibits, which is great because I don't have any yet. And, and that's probably one of the exhibits I would consider allowing you guys to build. There's been questions about, oh, what kind of exhibits do you want us to to submit anything anything you want pick your favorite animal it doesn't have to be any specific animal just pick it i'm not going to pick uh based or i'm not going to pick the winner to build the exact exhibit that they built so like for example i've already got a koala exhibit so if you build a koala exhibit and you submit it it doesn't mean that you're automatically not going to win because i already have one it just means that i'll pick you because you have some sweet building skills but you'll have to build a different exhibit that's all that's all it is pretty simple if you ask me all right, let's start chopping down some of these trees. Uh, ooh, there's a cave right here. Okay, buddy. I'm sorry. You have to come down. I need a lot of your wood. A lot of it, actually. F six? Really? That's all I got? At least I got some more of these acacia seeds. I'm out of those, too. Six? Boy. Hi, little meerkat, right? This is what this guy is? Little meerkat. Look at that. Frog kibble. Really? Gotta catch a bunch of those guys eventually. Come on, let's, let's keep chopping. While I'm here, why not grab a bit more of this red sand? Because I'm almost out of that, too. Oh, wow. Did, uh... That tree must have been really, really big. I don't... I mean, I've got 60... 64 exactly? No, 64 and 17. Okay. That might be enough. I don't think that's going to be enough. I honestly don't think that's going to be enough. Um, but we'll see. I mean, it's not too far. If I have to come back, I come back. Not a big deal. Anyway, let's grab more of this stuff. Let's not break my shovel, though. Make sure I don't break it. It's got uh, unbreaking out, doesn't it? Because it is not moving. Sure does. Unbreaking three. Okay, let's grab some of this stuff. Sorry, guys. Just giving you a little home makeover here. I'm not really changing too much about it. Hopefully, you don't mind a little extra flat land. Okay. All right, got a few more materials. Oh, that dying oak is growing. This one is not. I did have a little bit more bone meal that I found. Kind of just want to get these guys up to speed here a little bit. Just kind of advance their growth just a little bit. Okay, so we got dying oaks on either side. And I think maybe we have, maybe we put an acacia right here. Just one, not a palm seed. I always confuse the palm, maybe because they're orange. Right there. So this acacia tree is going to be growing right here. Oh, this one's growing nice and fast. Should we have another acacia tree? Let's see. Let's see what the balance of this exhibit is. Not bad. Oh, I think another acacia tree down here would be good. Um, But I can't make it too close to the front. So probably here. I tried to plant it there. I'm an idiot. Okay, there we go. All right. This is going to look good. We'll also have some shrubbery. I picked up some more of these dead bushes. I mean, we might as well plant some of these guys now. Like so. Maybe a few more extra up here. Maybe it was a little bit bushier up here at one point. Uh, we got some of this dead grass. I got more of this dead grass uh, over in my chests. But for now, that's what I got. Oh, this is coming together. It's coming together. The bellflowers. I don't think anything else would sort of fit in that I... The dried bamboo might actually fit in. Let's say this was like an old lake bed, or at least that's what we try to make it look like when we built this exhibit. So we'll have some dried bamboo here and there. Maybe have this one, a, this one, mm, yeah, this one back here a couple high. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. All right. So now let's see how much of this we can actually get done. This is going to be six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Yikes, this is going to be expensive for Acacia. This is as high as we need it to be. Okay, at least for the front here. Then we're going to make some Acacia fence. So everything's going to have kind of like an orange and grayish theme, which is nice. Um, then we will do... We will do that. Do we want to put one there? Or do we want to put one on the inside? I think we have to put one on the inside. Okay, I did not have enough acacia. I planted all the acacia saplings that I got. They're back there. What is that? Oh, that looked like that looked like an animal, that shadow. 
and I'm like, whoa, I've never seen that before. Anyway, uh, in the meantime, let's try to build this gazebo, shall we? I'm thinking not too big because we want to have like a little garden here. I even thought maybe we'll have a little pond uh, that you have to cross to get to the gazebo. Just something cool. We could even put actual animals in the pond, like fish and stuff, but I don't know yet. Okay, so the gazebo, I, I would say, would probably be best roughly in this general direction. So let's do one, two, three four five my mouse wheels messed up then we'll go like this and then we'll do two two three four five Ooh, that might be too big uh maybe not maybe not that might work hold on Let, let's see oh nope goldenrod flowers getting in the way okay okay Got a little carried away with my building. I'm sorry. I tend to do that sometimes when I get just in the groove and stuff. And I think this place is going to look really, really nice as soon as I put a little spruce fence on top. I hope. Oh, that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. Nailed it. Okay. Let's check this thing out. It is a little bigger than I wanted it to be. But, but we have lots of space to work with back here. I'm thinking maybe we have the pond back here. We could have another exhibit back here, actually. We could have a pond or a, uh, huh, turtles. Maybe a turtle exhibit. Uh, we'll have something back there. And then over here, this short path towards the gazebo could just be lined with flowers on either side and stuff. Look at it. That is a nice looking gazebo if you if I, if I do say so myself. I feel like maybe that the, the point needs to be one higher. No, no, it'll look too weird if it's one higher. Let's see. Take a look from over here. I think maybe I have to put more of an angle. Yeah, I'm going to use, I don't have any more spruce uh, logs on me, but I think what I'm going to do is for the spruce, I will make it a full block instead of a, a slab. So it has more of an angle, because right now it looks way too flat. So we're going to angle it up just a tad, I think. Dude, guys, take it easy, all right? Take it easy. I think it looks a lot better with that uh, with that part raised. Oh, you can't really tell because of the sun. <laughs> the sun is bright uh, every morning when it comes on the, on that side. Okay, look. Check it out. Ah, yeah, it's better than it was before. I like it. And now we're building the path. So over this way, over this way is where people will be able to come see the gar reel. The gar. Oh, sweet. I still have some of these. Fantastic. Uh, I might need some more right here-ish, but I kind of want it to be uneven. Perfect. Let's get this this little path laid out here. So yeah, you can come around from there. You can get some cotton candy. Then you can come and see these terrifying creatures, but beautiful at the same time. I'm not calling you terrifying, guys. I hope you can hear that. Um, so there's the path right there. I mean, we can even have like a little bit of a, you know, you're allowed to come over here and check it out. Over here, there would probably be some stone anyway, but you're allowed to come there and check it out. But yeah, this is like the end of the road here. Then you can go back. You can rest at the gazebo, or you can go back around this way. Instead, you come through this way, and then you can go back around this way. And we'll make the path. Ooh, actually. Oh, good, good. It'll fit. Perfect. Everything's coming up in your house. We'll go like this. Nope. Come on. We'll go like this, like that. Okay. Then we'll round off this this tree i think i might have to trim this branch right here and here okay that should work i love that mod i love it so much okay so from here we go down this way so we'll have a little bit of path work i guess there yeah let's do that that'll work Oh, this is looking great. I can't. I honestly, I want to have like people on like able to visit the zoo. I really do. Like, I don't know how, how that would work. It'd be kind of boring probably. Have a bunch of you guys just log on to a server and just come and like explore the zoo. I don't know. I really don't know if that would be something you'd be interested in. It'd be kind of weird. But hey, it would fulfill <laughs> one of my, one of my, uh, needs here because I really feel like this needs to be walked. The path needs to be walked to be appreciated. Ah, beautiful. Anyway, let's go back here. Uh, should I put... No, that's fine. Let's go over here and see if our... Um, while we were building all this stuff, let's see if our... Um, what's it called? 
oh, what's it called? Uh, acacia trees. See if they grew at all. Okay, wait, that looks like good news there. Well, they're growing, but they're growing kind of slow. And I don't even know if I can get any wood from... Is this too small to get wood from it? Let's see. You can get these guys, which is good. It looks like just one. No, we can get some extra wood here. Or Oh, one piece. That is not bad. I'm going to have to plant this again and just wait. Or get a whole crap ton of bone meal. Or go back to the savanna. That's probably the best bet. Pretty cool watching it rain here from the gazebo. There's only one problem. This gazebo's in the wrong place. Much better. I found that... I found that the gazebo right here, it was just too close to this path. It was, there wasn't really much of a view. I mean, you're looking at, I guess, the koalas, but then you've got all this wood stuff over here, and you can't really get much of a view. Over here, look at this. This, this little patch of land lends itself to a gazebo. It's gazebo. I said gazebo. Um, it's elevated. As you can see, it's only one block higher, but, well, I guess it's technically two blocks higher than it was over here. Um, and you get a nice view of the landscape. There won't be any exhibits behind here, I don't think. I might do, like, a little pond here or something. Trees along here, but trees that won't grow too tall. Well, I guess they kind of all grow all willy-nilly, and you never can really tell how tall they're going to grow. But I'm going to plant some trees down here so that when you're up here in the gazebo, you could be looking at the landscape and stuff, and you don't have to be stuck looking at nothing pretty much down here. Also, this gives me opportunity to put more garden here, uh, maybe a stream. Heck, maybe we'll even have a little tiny bridge over here or something and a stream running through. I don't know. Lots to think about. But now is not the time to think about that. Now is the time to show you guys the exhibit. It is pretty much done. All I have left to do is to add some, some finishing touches here and there, like dead leaf piles, desert grass, and, and the taller dead desert grass. I think it'll look really, really cool. I'm also going to try adding a few wild flowers here and there. They do grow in the savanna. These guys are savanna animals. Um, might as well add a little bit of their home to their home. <laughs> a little bit of home away from home. The, the, the dead... Oh, look at that branch. Oh, that's great. That is great. Okay. Wild flowers, dead grass. Let's add them... I'm trying to find a way where I can get in and out relatively quickly here. Yeah, this will be a good spot. All right. So we'll put wildflowers. Oh, they've got to be placed. There we go. Just something like that. Hopefully they are not poisonous to the hyenas because the hyenas will eat them and die. We don't want that to happen. I don't want to put a lot of them. Just a little splash of color. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Then, you know what I really wanted to put was the thorns. Remember when I picked up the thorns not long ago? Yeah, that would have been awesome. But I feel like the animals will probably hurt themselves and die on those thorns. So we're not going to do that. Uh, let's put some of this stuff there. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. And then let's put some of the shorter grass. Maybe some of that down here. Like little patches of it. I like little patches of grass. There we go. Yeah, I don't like it when there's it's too interspersed. Oh, there's an there's did I place that already or was it already here? It may have already been here. Um, just something like that. Good. We ran out of dead grass. Next time we're out on an adventure, we gotta get those. And then dead leaf piles. I wanted to put dead leaf piles in and around the oak trees here, as if to say <laughs> the oak trees have died and have left some leaves behind. So that looks good too. Okay, I think we're ready to let these guys go. The first thing we got to do, though, is make their kibble. Now, I'm going to hazard a guess as to what... Is it carnivore ki Crocodile kibble? No. Would it be like carnivore kibble? Carnivore... Is that... Oh, carnivore kibble is not a thing. We have to find out what kibble these guys eat. What the heck would it be? Um, It wouldn't be hyena kibble. Because I'm pretty sure... No, no, no. Definitely not hyena kibble. Huh. Ah, more rain. I hate this. Okay. All right. Um, we have them in our inventory. Let's get this guy out. This is a little bit worrisome because they they do do they do do damage. <laughs> do do damage. Um, okay. That has no what? Contain Wait, what? Contains nothing. Uh-oh. Did something glitch out on me? No. 
No. Okapi. This is the same thing that happened. Walrus. Puma. Bat. Animal feeder puppy. <gasps> Spotted hyena. Oh. Oh, maybe I didn't take... I was sure I took them out. That's spotted... Yeah, spotted hyena. Yeah. Spotted hyena. Yeah. There's three. What the heck happened? Oh, these were for the... The, the Garials. The Indian... Oh, man. That scared the crap out of me. Oh, jeez. I thought... I thought something glitched out. Okay. Hi. Don't hurt me. You canine kibble. Oh, he's gonna jump out of there. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Okay, this is going to be dangerous. Now, how do you make this canine kibble? Canine kibble. Fish, chicken, rabbit, and bread. Rabbit? Uh-oh. Looks like we're going on an adventure. Okay, okay. The search for bunnies begins. I mean, while we're here, let's keep an eye out for the Fiji banded iguana. I don't think they spawn here, but you never know. Hi, you beautiful little macaw. That is a, or is that a cockatoo? It's a cockatoo. Okay. Now, I know they spawn in deserts, these little bunnies. I've no, ooh, this is good. This is good right here. I'll need this for later. Is there, oh, there's a ton of bird meat. <laughs> Okay, that's good. I'll take it. Uh, these poor birds. I mean, I don't want to kill them, but if they kill themselves, I can't help it. I can't help that fact. They're just too dumb to not swim or not land in water. Speaking of which, it's about to happen again. Come on, guy. Swim. Oh, yeah, this is tragic. Absolutely tragic. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, these poor birds. I hope they fix that in the next update. Okay. Okay, let's get up here. Let's start looking for rabbits. Did I see... Oh, that Oh, that guy can get out, though, it looks like. Some of them can swim. Some of them can't. I've never actually looked for rabbits in vanilla Minecraft. I don't know what biomes they spawn in. I love these cactuses. If I was confident the animals wouldn't hurt themselves on the cactuses, I would totally make an exhibit with these cactuses in it. You see what I mean? Um, right on time, too. I've never looked for uh, bunnies. In vanilla Minecraft, I don't even know where to find them. The only time I've ever remember seeing them is in... Wow, there's a lot of mirror cats. Is in desert biomes. So, why not? Let's take a look at this desert biome. It's not very far from home. We hopefully will find... All we need is two... These are all... I should probably get like an empty one ready. All we need is two because we can breed them with carrots. And we have plenty of those. So, that'd be nice if we can get two of these guys. Start our own little rabbit breeding farm. For um, animal consumption reasons, of course. I know it's tragic. Look at this. This bird ran into the cactus. Murdered. Ooh. Ooh, there's another Indian Gariel there. Um, should I catch him? I mean, we have two already. Would three be cooler? There's also an orca in that little river. Which is weird. And then there's a bunch of walruses. Oh, I can't wait to make the walrus. <laughs> I keep saying that about every animal, though. But it's true. I'm so excited to, like, make exhibits for certain animals. Um, is there any animal I'm not excited to make an exhibit of? The birds. The birds because, like, um, there's a lot of them. So I have to... Well, I can, not really. I've already got some ideas for, like, the pie to have a set and stuff. And, and the... Um, oh, look at this guy. Should I get him? He's the same color, I think, as the other one. Is, oh, is that a... That's a walrus. Okay. All right. We're just gonna... We're just gonna leave you alone, pal. Uh, might as well look for... Stingrays while we're here too, right? Stingrays in the river. I haven't seen a single stingray since I started this series. I'm starting to think they don't spawn, but that's what I said about a few of these animals, and we got lucky. I haven't seen, speaking of not spawning, I haven't seen any bunnies in this giant desert, and I think maybe these guys are to blame. I don't know if they go around killing them, but they might. Um, and if they do, it's trouble for us because we can't really find any other. I don't think they. They're they're like they're like um. Oh, I don't know what the word for it is, but they're a permanent mob. Like, they're not just going to spawn randomly. So whenever they are killed off, that's it. They're killed off, right? The rabbits. Like, they're not going to respawn. Like, if I hanged out, if I hanged out, <laughs> if I hung out in this desert 
for a bunch of time, they wouldn't magically start respawning, right? I'm pretty sure that the way it works is that they just, um, they just, they just, once they're gone, they're gone. And you got to find a new biome with them. What is this grass? Is this desert grass? Where's my, oh no. Wait, wait, I might have another one in here. Am I right? I am right. Beautiful, I'm always prepared. Okay. Ooh, dune grass. That looks really cool. Is there more of that stuff? It's a pangolin. Okay, now remember I told you last time that I was going to catch one of these guys in that forest, and then I started getting attacked by mobs, and I said I better catch them. Oh, there's another one. Beautiful, and it's a different color. Uh, oh, and there's another one in a different color. Okay, that's three. I think these are solitary animals, though, which kind of makes me feel like I shouldn't catch this many. I'll have to read up before we, uh, we, 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 um, what's it called? Before we tame them all, because if they are solitary animals, I'll just do one. There's another one there. I've got three, though, and they're all different colors, so I think I'm good. Um, yeah, if it is a different or a solitary animal, I'll release these two in the wild, of course. Not anywhere near my house, or at the zoo, I should say. I don't even have a house in this series. That is sad. <laughs> I have taken all my time and built things for animals and none for myself. I am now in this biome, and I cannot find bunnies, guys. I'm in trouble. What if there's... Have I even seen bunny spawn in this series? I think I have. I hope I have. If I haven't, we'll never be able to tame the hyenas. Hey, look, it's another one. Hi. Now, some apparently these guys curl up. This is for science. I'm not intending to hurt it. Okay, so they don't curl up. I thought they did. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I know, I know. I'll leave you alone. You can go on your merry way. You know, I said earlier I'm not excited about making exhibits for birds, but look at how nice this bird is. This is the Capricale. The Canter... Can Cantabrian? 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 <laughs> Capricale. Ah, it's a nice looking bird. Okay, we're headed to another desert. It's uh, north of here. I just gotta do some uh, boating once I get to the edge of land here. Oh, man, I really hope I can find a bunny. This is gonna be a nightmare if I can't. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that little that little rhino is. Where you going, little rhino guy? There's also ostriches, and I don't see ostriches very often, so I might just catch me some ostra, ostrichi. That's a female. If there's, I thought I saw another one back here. If this one's a male, we're catching some ostriches. Os, ostriches, ostrich. <laughs> I'm, having, I'm having a real hard time saying it. Okay, ostrich. Uh, that's it. Um. That's a female as well. Okay, we're just going to leave you guys be then. We're going to leave you guys be because we're still looking for bunnies. I haven't seen a single one. Ooh, you know what? That's pangolins, hyenas. I caught up. Oh, I don't think I have any empty nets anymore. And I don't think I brought any. I didn't bring anything to make any more nets. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I did, I did do some research off camera about the okapi. Okapi, 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 I don't know, whatever. I, I hear a bunch of different ways. You guys keep telling me the different ways to pronounce it, so I can't figure out which one is the correct one. Uh, but anyway, online it says they're solitary animals. So I don't need a bunch of these guys. I can probably just, I'm going to try, uh, I have six of them. That's way too many. Okay, I'll keep three hand handy. I'm going to release these Okapis in here. You guys, they're part of the zebra family. Not, sorry, not zebra family. They're part of the giraffe family, even though they closely resemble the zebra. Um, so it'll be kind of cool for them to maybe uh, buddy up with their giraffe pals. And I've seen some giraffes up, he up in here, too. Okay, it's time to sleep. <sighs> this is getting annoying now, guys. This is getting annoying. Whoa. Whoa. What is going... Is this like a volcano biome or something? My search for bunnies is, is still going, by the way. I can't believe I... It's frustrating. It's frustrating to say the least. I kind of want to get up there and see what this is all about. Hold on a second here. Hold on a second here. Let me grab my boat, and I'm going to try to slowly make my way up here. Where's my shovel at? Right there. I'm going to slowly make my way up here, and we're going to find out what biome this is. I don't think I've been to this biome yet. So this is kind of exciting for me. This is totally... A vo yep, Volcano Island. Ooh, that is cool. What can I do with a pile of ashes? I can make it into gray dye, coal. 
or an ash block. It's also fuel. Ooh, and, and, and kangaroos spawn here? Oh, poor little kangaroos. Guys, you guys do not want to be here. This is like... It seems warm, is all I'll say. This is cool, though. I've never been in one of these. i got to be real careful where I step. I might, like, step inside some lava and die and lose all my things. And lose a bunch of animals that I caught, too. That would be terrible. They they die a uh, fiery hot death inside my pocket. Oh, no! Speaking of fiery hot deaths... Dude! Come here! Oh, you hopped over it! Okay, I saved you. Don't. Don't. I should have. I should have let... Natural selection take its course there, but sometimes I can't just I can't stand by and watch it happen All right, I think I gotta leave here oh, Man, I'm gonna try to find one more desert Otherwise, this might be the very first episode where I don't Officially finish. I mean the exhibit is finished, but where I don't officially Officially finish it because I didn't place the animals in it Um, That would be devastating. I would be so sad about that, but I'm I can't do... I mean, I guess I could probably just, like, release the hyenas in there without taming them. But I would have to name them so they don't despawn. And I don't really want to do that. I want to tame all my animals uh, that I have at my zoo. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? Okay, that's more kangaroos. Ooh, how am I going to get down off here? Did I bring my boat? I did. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't think... Can I make this jump into the water? Eesh. Oh, there's lava right there, too. Okay. I'm going to try. This is dangerous. Okay, no, this is going to be fine. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, that scared me. I didn't realize there was a bit of edge there on the bottom. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's just get in this boat. Let's go. Let's go. Well, I think this is where this episode has to end. It's been a long time. I've been traveling a long, long way. I can't believe one of the toughest animals to find in this game and this series would be bunnies. I don't know what to do, guys. Like, I don't know. They they do spawn, right? I'm at the point where I'm thinking they don't even spawn. They spawn in more than desert biomes. I looked it up. There's a bunch of biomes they spawn in. I've passed a bunch of those biomes, but I haven't seen a single bunny. This is devastating. My hyena exhibit. Incomplete. I mean, we got the gazebo done. That's good. We didn't get any decorations out, out, around the gazebo. That's not good. We got the entire exhibit finished. Other than actually taming these hyenas. This is, this is, a, this is a disaster. This is sad. It's a sad, 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 sad day. In the world of Minecraft zoo building. I can't believe it. What's up with these bunnies? The good news is, all I have to find is two. I'm pretty sure I've seen them spawn somewhere at some point in this series. If I could just find two, I will have bunnies for days. For days, I tell you. In the meantime, though, I'm going to continue my journey searching for bunnies. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Wish we could have, wish we could have got those hyenas placed today, but time is not on our side. Another thing, too, is the stingrays. What is up with these stingrays? They're also like super, super rare. Just as rare as the bunnies, apparently. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, though. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.